Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Weekly Team Meeting. Today we are the 24th of October 2023. Our round table, we got myself, Damien Duportel, um, Stéphane Merle, Kevin Martins, Hervé, I'm adding her, or he will add it himself. He should join us in a few minutes. I assume the kiddo don't want to go sleep. Mark Waite is not there today. Stefan is there. Bruno is not there. And Kevin is with us. Hello, everyone. Let's get started with announcements. Um, the, really, the weekly release 2.429 uh, is out, at least the war file and the packages. Um, just a word on the Docker image. We have delayed. Uh, a few hours the creation of the tag uh, because we uh, there has been some uh, regression during last LTS on the container image tags that are provided to end users. Uh, there has been a main change on the latest LTS and last week weekly. The default image, if you don't specify a GDK in the tag, switched from GDK 11 to GDK 17. That was written in the change log as far as I can tell. But in the process, we accidentally forgot about keeping the tags with a suffix dash GDK 17 by changing from the default image to GDK 17. That's a consequence. So Hervé has just issued a pull request uh, that should fix that. And we will test that pull request on two days weekly. That's why we delayed a few hours because we want that pull request to be reviewed, approved, merged, verified before triggering the release. Then that's uh, information. We will work on backporting the missing tags on last week Docker image. The methods I propose to use on the issue is to use Scopio, which is a tool that allows to uh, copy an existing Docker image with a certain tag to another tag. The goal will be for us to avoid as much as possible to rebuild the LTS Docker images. And instead we copy the existing, because these images already exist as the short tags. So that should be easy to copy them bit by bit. Is, is that clear? Does it need clarification? Kevin, I haven't followed. I'm sorry. What's the status of the change log and documentation update for that weekly? Uh, merged and published. So it's live on the site as yes. we speak. You're really efficient. Thanks. Change log merged. That's really cool. Um, let me take notes. Delay the few hours to add back the missing container container tags. Do you have other announcements, folks? Uh, just really quickly, Dan, uh, so the mm -hmm. uh, tags note was also added to the uh, 4.414.3 uh, LTS change log. So that's also there, thanks to Eve uh, earlier today. So um, that's also been published. Cool. Um, let, let me write this down. Uh, missing GDK 17 uh, container tags. So LTS change log for two four four three updated to warn users. Fix for two days weekly, see above. We plan to backport missing tags to using binary copy with Scopio to avoid rebuild and accidental overrides. Let me take note of that. Thanks, folks, for the, the work on this one. Um, it can't be done. Sorry? Quick questions. Quick questions. It can't be done with Docker or, uh, only? No, Docker. Uh, oh, 
you could, but that will be way, way, way slower because you would have to pull the original image with the short tag, tag it locally yeah, okay. and push the new reference. So, but yes, it could be done. Scopeo has that That's specific easy, feature yeah. uh, for that. But yeah, yeah that could be. Um, another uh, announcement, uh, remoting 3176 version and 3180 had a bug when using direct connection. No WebSocket, no TCP discovery. Um, CI Jenkins IU was, so uh, the remoting uh, protocol, the, the, process, the, uh, the system used to have inbound agents uh, when connecting as inbound on direct connection to HTTP or TCP. Uh, without the discovery was suffering from a bug. That was a side consequence of a huge work that Basil did on the remoting. That was just a minor consequence because it's an edge case that we have on the Jenkins Infra. So as soon as we detected that problem, a fix has been found and published. Um, but no user facing problem. We didn't, we were impacted as administrator but no user pipeline were uh, uh, were uh, failing because in fact, it was just CI Jenkins Sayo during a few hours unable to spin up agents. As soon as we roll back to the change after two hours, all the pipelines were there. So no user facing impact. Uh, and uh, the ver a new version of the remoting, uh, of remoting fixed the issue. Um, rolling it out to CI Jenkins IO. So the validated on a manual and simple test that it was working. We weren't able to reproduce the issue we had with the two previous versions. And now we are rolling out that new remoting version on every agent template we have. And we'll see if on large scale it keep uh, working as expected, which it should. So thanks everyone involved on this one. Um, I I believe the change log for the remoting has been updated for this. I haven't checked. Hervé, do you remember if it was or? You're muted, yeah. If it was what? If the bug was reported on the release notes. Uh, not this one. But I've put a note in the Docker Inbound agent. I wasn't sure if Docker agent were concerned directly, so I just put there mm -hmm. the notice on Docker Inbound agent release, the three of them 176 uh, uh, and 280 release. Cool. Um, I believe Docker agents could be. Uh... Could have the same it's issue it's, though. Okay. Uh, it's just it's way more visible on the inbound agent because it's used directly by Kubernetes and other plugins. But yeah, that could be a case for when using the Docker plugin for the Docker okay. agent base image. But no oh, emergency oh, oh. because there is a new version with the fix, so we can do it afterwards. There is no don't need to rush it. Uh, but yes, thanks for thanks for for that, Hervé. Uh, was really useful for end users. Do you have other announcement, question, or clarification needed on these topics? Nope. Okay, so next week we will have a new weekly as usual. Next week. I've already forgotten when is the next LTS <laughs> in 18, 18 weeks by default. 17, since it's already been one week. I think it's uh, November no. 15th, Damien. November 15th. Thanks. So that's, we have plenty of time ahead of us before that new LTS. You have a release candidate if you want to, uh, to write that. It's the 1st of November, the release candidate. 
I'll say the first of November. So next week. Cool. Thanks. I guess 15th of November for the release. Um, tomorrow we will have a security advisory. Plugins only, as far as I can tell. Plugins only. So tomorrow we will need to be sure that we don't break trusted CI Jenkins IO because it will be required for uh, generating the update center with the new version once the security visor is published and to publish and deploy Jenkins.io website. Uh, which means Hervé, I'm sorry, but the operation for cleaning up Jenkins.io will have to wait Thursday. But you can yes. take backups tomorrow and prepare the operation. Uh, and next major event, we have DevOps World soon. We had one last week. Uh, I don't remember, so let me open last week. I'm not sure what will be the source of truth for this, so I could prepare. So let's just try the first demo and continue if it's OK for everyone. You also have to uh, talk about the election, about the registration, which end the 5th of November. Yes. Good point. Uh, election nomination is, uh, I think it's the 27th of October, the oh, end I of the it. nominations. Nomination and soon. 27th of October. Uh, voter registration. So have you have you done the three of you nominations and voter registrations? I think so. I'm registered. <laughs> I'm registered. Same here. <laughs> I haven't done any nomination. I should. So please uh, nominate candidate for the different uh, seats. Please look at the blog post for more information on how to do that. And don't forget if you have contributed on Jenkins. I don't remember. Is it? The past month, past year, I don't remember the threshold, but if you have contributed recently on Jenkins, please register to vote. A uh, quick question, Kevin. Uh, is there a pinned uh, article about the election and nomination in the Jenkins.io carousel? And uh, uh, additional question, can we have a big blinking countdown? So we Monday? have something on the carousel. Yeah, okay, cool. We need to then, down on it. And then um, just uh, as a note, there's one person nominated for each seat at this point in time. So uh, if there's no other nominations that come in in, in the week, uh, there m most likely won't be a vote because there's no point in voting for a single person. So. It could, follow, it could follow the same pattern as last year where we didn't have the vote uh, because there weren't enough nominations. Okay, thanks for the explanation. Okay, do you have other announcements or upcoming calendar event, folks? Yes, that would be a, a day off in France on, on Wednesday. Yeah. Yep. Um, team availabilities. Uh, so, 1st and 11th of November, no, French Jenkins SRE. Uh, one of them is also a day off for me, but only one of them. In Belgium, it's a bit different. Uh, so, expect a bit less availability from the team so good point please when we will uh, take items on the upcoming milestone be sure that you select carefully the task you want to work on taking in account your um, your own days off cool thanks um other announcement calendars Stefan, I swear next week you will, I ah, know you will be off, but in two weeks you will take the meeting lead. 
Uh, uh, you're thinking okay. about everything I'm, forg I'm forgetting, so that's perfect. Okay, maybe we'll take the day off in two weeks ago. In two weeks uh, <laughs> so the task we were able to finish during the past milestone, um, some uh, I think uh, Robert lost his access to the credential plugin. Yes, and it was changed through the RPU and settings. Perfect. Thanks, Baptiste, for taking care of this one. Um, GitHub permission for developers. So as usual, that has been treated by the bots. A uh, new component has been created on the Jira project for coverage plugin. So thanks for the person who did that. Let me give credits where it's due. Okay, the bot was able to create the component. So thanks, Alex, for looking on it. Was... Um, there's been a, another Jira component, but that one was archived because not needed. The developer moved their issue tracking from Jira to their GitHub issue tracker for the plugin. So we archived the associated component that was used to uh, categorize the issues on the Jenkins Jira. Um, wrong plugin redirect. We fixed, uh, thanks for from a user report on Jenkins IU website, we fixed a few wrong redirections uh, on the wiki system uh, that were uh, configuration uh, minor errors. We located a seven like this, including the one that they reported. It has been fixed and deployed. Uh, it was a minor configuration error on Nginx. There, were, there was a slash that should have been removed, and that's all. So thanks for the user reporting that. Uh, we had the user trying to create a new Jenkins community account. I don't remember what was the hands. OK. Uh, their account were, was already created. So I trigger a password reset. Since they should have access to the email, which is which was the proper email, they should be able to follow up. I haven't heard from them, so I assume it's OK. I tried to contact them uh, by private, but never had an answer. So I closed the issue. Um, we don't have any more any AWS S3 buckets storing Terraform states. Terraform state are a critical part of our Terraform setup. Uh, you can see that as a shared database of uh, what resources are managed or used to be managed by Terraform on each of our cloud system. We have one couple of these states per project. We separate them physically to avoid any problem if one is failing. And three of our project were using S3. Uh, as we want to decrease the S3 bills and try to get outside the CloudBees account, uh, we move these states to Azure uh, Object Storage, which is the same as S3, which the same properties. And we were already using this for all the other projects. So that was a quick migration. Uh, I have to admit that the Terraform documentation was really helpful. And it was just a single command, so that worked very well. Any question? Nope. Next task, plugin site build commonly fails on infra CI. So that one was a long due issue. And since uh, the team was able to correct the OM kill of the plugin site backend, that was a Java application, uh, there was a, a, a fixed one or two weeks ago, I don't remember when exactly. But uh, but after one week, we haven't seen any more uh, 502 errors. So that that was the root cause of that problem. So we were able to close that issue. So thanks everyone for the work here. Now let's go on the work in progress. Um, I'm trying to introduce a bit of change. So I will treat the issues in the order of priority. So updates Jenkins I use the top priority for us this week. Uh, or nowadays. Stefan, Hervé, can you give us a quick heads up? So last week we said you had to transfer knowledge from one to the other. So Stefan is taking the lead on the work now. Yeah. Uh, so and the explanation. The <laughs> yes, it's a and trap. The and the explanation. <laughs> yes, Stephanie of for course. The wiki um, what I did, I did some some timing for, for the Air sync and sync and and at the at the end I uh, added some uh, parallelization 
first naive with the Eperluette and then with the, the GNU parallel command. And it seems very um, powerful. And the synchronization is taking uh, less than, uh, than a minute, but uh, we need to um, check on time with the real process every three minutes. But it, seem, it seems really, really good. Um, next is the dealing with the triggering of uh, mirror bit uh, sync. Um, I need to read more docs and, and try to find how it's working. Then, uh, Hervé, what do you think? Was that good enough? Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. Uh, another. Um... Related the uh, new pair that Daniel just opened is uh, it will stop generating latest in every dynamic folder, so a little bit less. Um, be synchronized or not, or avoid. And uh, I think we are almost ready to try again uh, real life uh, experiment on the run the big center job using uh, or branch at so. well, with Daniel of course. We will need a PR with Daniel, yes. But first yeah. is uh, is Mirabit if I'm not mistaken. Um mm -hmm. so here from Daniel to remove the latest less data to copy. Thank you. Timing you, looks really good. Um, I, I forgot. I, 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 you, you mentioned another element, or was the pair from Daniel the latest? Sorry, I was taking notes and trying to listen to much things. Yeah, we mentioning uh, Mirabit, uh, Stefan. I, and um... I did mirror, uh, I did mention Mirabit that we need to. At the end of the script to trigger the, the check of the sync. Oh, the time at the end. The... It's not the time. Um, it's triggering the the check of uh, mirror bit syncing the nodes. If I understood correctly, what we need absolutely to do. requires a bit of Kubernetes. Yeah, it's a kubic sync. Except reproducing the issue locally. Okay. Did I capture what you said properly on a written? It was way more, way better because you spoke about the sim links, the referencing that I forgot to tell. So it's it's best than what I said. So as a reminder, updates was taking sometimes to be copied while it the role of the crawler job so that's why we removed it um, oh, with a survey uh, and on my side I was able to reproduce the ingress error locally that we have on the new mirror bits for updates Jenkins IO um, I think I might find the issue but I need to spend a bit more time alone which I won't be able to do until tomorrow I need to stay focused uh, one hour. And that time was hidden by the remoting uh, bug. So yeah, let's, I, I'm sure we will be able to have something to test before next milestone. I said that three milestone ago. <laughs> Anything else to add on that topic? Cool, great job folks. Um, Hervé, can you are you able to yes, talk and explain? Right out. I, don't, oh, okay. I don't see anything. I've been kicked out and Sumi oh. is completely buggy. I only see my face, so oh. um, we can I hear you. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> are, are you able to give us a so I... Hervé? Um, I reconnect. Okay. So I'm going to delay the IRM64 report by RV. So it's not uh, by priority anymore. That's too bad. <laughs> um, 
I'm trying. Okay. Um, Belnet Mirror. It's still disabled. Still disabled. Um, I wasn't able to reproduce. I uh, can't reproduce uh, the um, uh, reporter's network problem. So the um, I was able to obtain uh, the uh, the class of IPs for the reporter, uh, which is on uh, French ISP. And I've asked people working on that company to test on the same IP range, and they are not blocked. So whether their specific public IP is blocked, which means they might be doing something weird that's led uh, Belnet to block them, uh, or they have an issue on the home firewall blocking the outbound requests. And right now we can't be sure of one or the other. So uh, the proposal is that I'm going to contact directly Belnet. We didn't, so the person was not answering on the mailing list, but there is an official email on the mirror system. So I need to contact them. Uh, the person I know working for Belnet uh, don't know that area. They work for other departments and they don't know who will be the person of contact. So they told me to use that email. Let's contact uh, mirror admin through public support email or to tell where the error is. Because that would be a shame if we had to keep that one disabled or remove it. Um, so IRM64, mirror static link from uh, get Jenkins. Ah, oh, sorry, Hervé, you're back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, time for you to give us a report on RM64 then. Um, uh, last week I uh, finished the incremental publisher on uh, private NGINX ingress uh, migration to RM64. The most sensible one was private NGINX, uh, public NGINX, sorry, because it's uh, response, it's there every public facing service we have on this cluster. So quite a big list. It went uh, really, really well, no service interruption noticed. And uh, same for our incremental publisher. I've then uh, worked on the um, on publishing uh, uh, image as ARMS64 for uh, the other uh, repository and prepared the uh, free migration, Kubernetes config uh, migration. Uh, the remaining one, uh, which are difficult, are uplink, which I think need a complete revamp modernizing before. Uh, we can uh, migrate it. So I propose to postpone this migration until it's modernized. It's using mm -hmm. node 9 and node 10. And yeah, a lot of things are working as expected and we need to rework uh, the build process and upgrade uh, everything in it, I think, before doing anything else. <clears throat> Question, y you mentioned node 9, node 10. Is it because there is no IRM image for not nine or not ten? No, I haven't looked at that because I wanted to get it running locally before trying to build ARM sixty four. Mm -hmm. I I didn't manage to do that. So okay, um, because uh, I believe Uplink is updated some time to time. I don't remember when was the last update. To be quite honest, but it's not that far the away. Last the last commit on this repo is from 19. The last Four update of ago. the Docker image. That's different. Because you, even if you don't change the code, the application itself can change if it's rebuilt, especially when you have Docker image installing packages on latest versions. Do, do you mind double checking that? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, because if it builds, even if it's old code and old Node.js, if we can have an RM64, that will be two separated problem. Yeah. Okay. And next is the plugin, uh, plugin site uh, API repository. 
uh, which is built, uh, which is building its Docker image uh, quite uniquely. It's not using more uh, pipeline, so it needs work, more works to be able to build a, uh, or I need to understand how to build an ARM image from Begins. the current build process. Okay, is it plugin site API? API? Yeah. Okay. The backend we... of the plugin site. Okay, it has been updated at least seven times during the past two weeks, especially yeah. to fix the OM kill. So yeah, yeah, that should be quite easy to migrate to IRM64 because it's the same pattern as other Java applications that were already migrated, such as account or PHS. We don't build it the same way. We build it but, yeah. and we are, yep. It's not because it's the same way we used to do on other images that it's not working today and it will continue to work. So that's why we should be able to mm. do it. The the reason I'm mentioning it is because I had to build it locally two weeks ago on my uh, macOS machine, which is IRAM. So I know for a fact that it worked locally. I don't say so. I, I, am, I agree with what you said. Uh... But okay, next candidate, and that means you need to spend some time because it's not the, the easy method. Am I yep. understanding it correctly? Yes. Cool. Um, uh, and I have, yeah, other services are using uh, image we don't build directly. So they have the, the ARM architecture already available. available. So it's just a Kubernetes config change. Okay, um, um, sir, uh, set manager, set manager, data dog, test agent. Um, Acme, there is nothing to do in Acme because it's not uh, deployment per se, it's using CRD from data dog. Mm -hmm. Um, we have Jenkins is the way director, but it's only an ingress, so there is no, no code, yeah, no code. Uh, what I have created recently, sorry, uh, a second. Um, on mirror bits, I've also updated mirror bits. Oh, yes, uh, open the pull request for mirror bits. I haven't touched uh, a uh, work current update center uh, proof of concept because we are working on it and it doesn't have to be. It's not in fraud yet, but I can update okay. it already. I, I propose you you go for it. The ingress is broken yeah, on this sure. one, so not a problem. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay for you, Stefan? Yes. And lastly, I was wondering about uh, also migrating uh, weekly. That's the item in Satire, but it's not a priority. I haven't said that. I just say that wasn't on the initial plan of that wave, but we can absolutely start discussing that and start planning ahead. Yep. So um, I'm writing next, so I don't infer any kind of priority or choice. Is that okay for everyone? Yep. Uh, that means you can start working on it on the upcoming milestone if you have started the work on all the others and waiting for review or waiting for builds. So you mentioned weekly.ci.jenkins.io. Um, we, we build the custom Docker image, which is a Jenkins official core image where we install plugins. We know that Jenkins work for on IRM64 since a lot of time. So that one is a good candidate to start uh, building our own image and see how it behave in production, especially because we don't have remoting for this one. We don't have agent or executors. So that should be a really good first step. So I think your proposal makes sense. Stefan, I remember that we say we wanted three waves of migration. The first wave was the easy one where we just had to change the Nginx image. Then the second wave was, okay, then let's move our custom Docker image, the one that uh, Eva is uh, to cover this week. So on my side, I vote for, if we can, we can get started on building the image and starting to deploy weekly CI Jenkins IO. Don't you think that we we, we may insert the, the creation of a 
not pull ARM64 for uh, infra also because like that we can use the same image on, on Jenkins yeah. infra and weekly. It doesn't matter because I've, I've opened the request to build also, uh, also an ARM image. Yeah, so yeah, of course yeah. it's both. If I still, this controller, this cluster is, has already a, a, NAM, a node pool. I think it's a good opportunity to try already on weekly that site and check Insta.io to see if there are any issues at first yeah, step. And then right. first weekly a new then may... for the same proposal, but for the private ATS cluster or every other cluster. Moving uh, most of supported services to um, 54. Mm -hmm. um, um, the, yep, go ahead. Yeah, it's for the future for the next. I just wanted to point out that, as you said, Stepan, this is issue, which was uh, only regulating uh, ARM64, is uh, in fact a big uh, update of a lot of our services. So it's a really great uh, issue for that. I agree. And we still have to. Uh find a way to connect to a specific uh, database from IRM pools to yeah. not to go into a, a, a wrong way as long as we cannot connect to uh, SQL. Am I SQL if I remember correctly? Yeah, we could we could also switch to PostScript. No, because we need to take back the data we already have. We cannot switch it's to really clear. We can We can do a dump, an SQL dump and we can oh. And it's convert not to Postgre. It's that difficult. I think uh, seeing the data inside on the table is not okay, complicated. Uh, two table, there are two tables, few fields. I don't really like inside. to keep something which, not Which working. application are you mentioning that is using MySQL? Writing. writing. It's, it's no, writing. It's not, writing. No. no, I don't remember which one. No, no, it's using. the, no, it's the Statistico, it's, my, it's my, Matamo. It's on MySQL. It's, uh, it's my it's on, Sorry. It's, yeah, it's right. Ma Matomo and Matomo, Matomo yeah. does not have any PostgreSQL connector at all. Otherwise, we would have used it. That's the problem we have. So, yeah. Um, so, IRM64, uh, you mentioned the private Gates cluster. Yes. Um, so, Hervé, uh, is that okay for you if we start planning? It's not mandatory to do it that milestone. You do it when you're ready. Uh, that's uh, That will be the next step. But um, adding an IRM64 node pool to be used by Infra CI yeah. for with agents. The, um, I forgot the name. With the attack the, the attack but the, 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 the agents the no to make sure that uh, intel pods are not spawned okay. on that implementation detail paint <laughs> we'll see thank you implementation detail so i propose for agents first so we can start moving kubernetes management and uh, most of our images uh that would be the same process for you Hervé. for instance the docker elm file image so whether we can uh, move to the all-in-one image by adding the missing tools, or you can just add the RM64 multi-build like you already did on the service images. That's the same build process, so that should be quite easy. For instance, Docker Elm file, Docker Ashikop tools for the Terraform apply, etc. Yeah. Um, I mentioned last week, but I was a bit ambitious, but the VPN VM, in RM64. I'm thinking long term, I won't have time to spend on this one the upcoming uh, week. But yeah, I'm mentioning it there, so just to to have it written somewhere. So yeah, that's a nice takeaway. I uh, I think folks you should start sharing that with Bruno and other CloudBees colleagues and the community as well the takeaway for IRM64. Is there anything else to add on that uh, second my, uh, major topic? 
need for clarification or is it okay for you folks? Okay, cool. Um, thanks folks, you opened an issue about mirror status link from get Jenkins IO returns a 404 error. Uh, we need to work on this. Um, that's most probably the HTML file is not copied as part of the air sync uh, done by the mirrors. I'm not sure if all mirrors have it, uh, but yeah, we will need to to put our hands dirty on this one and fix it. That's not top priority, but that's not really nice to have a 404 error. So if we can spend some time, so I'm adding it to the new milestone. I think the issue is well written, so no question on this one. To do uh, publishing Jenkins security rules as packages. So Daniel Beck had a question um, about using GitHub packages for publishing elements on the code QL. Um, I believe uh, I haven't answered, but I think you already checked it. Uh, his proposal makes sense. Jenkins Safra could be the location since the Jenkins yeah. security scan is on Jenkins Safra already. Does it make sense for everyone? And as Daniel stated, yeah, it's for yeah, it's a tool containing every all the ecosystem. So, oh, good point. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, good, good point. That would mean uh, migrating Jenkins security scan to Jenkins CI, but yeah, by no, default, I it's. I don't think so. I don't. Uh... I don't remember where, but he already expressed it. How we so how we see why a repo is on one in one organization or the other, and it made sense. Uh, I'll try to find it again. But yeah. The problem is the trustability and the follow-up is that you cannot associate a package on one org to a source code on another org. So whether we move the, the source code repository to Jenkins CI if we want to publish on Jenkins CI packages, otherwise his proposal is will be the de facto. The under under the hood reason is because the way GitHub uh, provides signing for the packages for traceability, um, it doesn't cross the boundaries of GitHub organization because they use different uh, private keys. Um, so to answer and close, a word on GDK 21 version from Adoptium. So I took over, um, knowledge sharing, uh, Bruno, Stefan to Damien. Uh, so for the Packer image, we were able to, to deploy the GDK 21 that led us to discovering the remoting bugs. So that delayed a bit, but since 24 hours, it's running on CI Jenkins IO. So we are now providing GDK 21 final release for the developers of CI Jenkins IO on the Linux virtual machines, Linux containers, and Windows virtual machine. Next step is to run the Windows containers and all the, and all the tools on Puppet. So I'm taking over this one. So uh, next step, uh, Windows containers and tools installation, and then we are done. So thanks for the work. Uh, just have to do it, should be done this milestone. Do you have a question here? Oh, by the way, X tool installation will cherry pick Hervé's work from Jenkins CI slash Docker images. Uh, written rem reminder, Hervé, so I won't forget to reuse your work. Thanks for this. Stefan, status on Gus. I don't remember that I touched it this week. Can, can we check on the issue, please? Yes. I don't, I don't remember when I did the last thing, but uh, I started splitting and I need to go back to one file. 
Okay, I don't remember when were we able. Last week we migrated the first. Um, so SDF and PM. Yeah, this one is done. Yes, and you had to change because we were checking the the node version or the npm version. I forgot something there. Linux SDF and Node.js and npm are checked. Uh, npm is always latest. Oh, yeah. That's that. We cannot we cannot check on a version because it's depending on the installation of Node.js. I remember. So um, I, got, I got one open the whip. Mm -hmm. What do uh, you... Okay, so you have one for the other. Let me write this down. Uh, Linux other tools. Whip pr. So you have to spend time if you can on this one, but the priority was update center. And it will probably uh, go on, on competition with yours on Windows. Yes. Uh, Windows, they are ready to review. So the goal is to use GOS also for Windows. Right now, my initial implementation uses a separated file, so we have code duplication. The idea is uh, we can merge the Windows one that cover the same uh, feature sets than what you are doing on the master branch for Linux, the GDKs, uh, Trivi, and I don't remember another tool. I believe it's not GS. So then the goal for you will be either you start moving everything on Linux and then on Windows and then factorize, or you factorize now or whatever path you choose. We check. We'll, we'll, we'll check. We'll check. Next, uh, factorize and move all to us. Cool. Speed up the Docker image library to create tags. Oh. It's uh, OK, that one is on hold. Am I correct? Uh, we did some TDD, but with you, I think. I haven't seen the test yet. OK. I did some, I remember, but uh, I spent most of my time on updates. I'm sorry. No problem. Um, is that OK if we spend some time pairing on this one, that milestone, so I can take over during the next milestone, since you will be off? I will be off during this milestone Monday when Monday Tuesday. Ah, okay. I heard the first of November and second of November. Okay. Nope. So um is that okay if we pair this week <laughs> so I can take over for the end of the milestone? Yeah. <laughs> With pleasure. Um TDD started. And over to do this week before Steve and is off. Any question? Nope. Info rolled back the Docker oh, yeah. Confluence data uh, tag discovery. Akawiki. Uh, good. Cool. Um, upgrade to Kubernetes 1.26. Uh, change log being read. Uh, I'm halfway the change log. Is that okay for everyone? Yeah. Um, AWS decrease cost. I've updated it because we removed AWS S3 uh, bucket, so I mentioned it on that one. Um, since we on we are almost end of a term. Uh, we still have two virtual machines to migrate away to tiny minor machines. Um, I'm adding this one on the backlog back to the backlog, but I might spend time on one of the two services here. Uh, sorry. Back to backlog, but two VMs to be migrated. Uh, the goal is for, I want to check the services, what they are doing, because maybe we could migrate directly these services to Kubernetes instead of migrating the virtual machine. Matumuf. I admit I gave up during this milestone. 
Uh, no work done on your side, Hervé? No. No, Do I don't you... Know. Okay. Um, Gavin gave us details. Um, okay, I need to get back on it. Uh, the main issue was that there is still that, that problem on AKS that we cannot join the MySQL uh, database from the ARM64 nodes, which is just a bit annoying. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what, what we can do. Uh, Hervé, do you think you can spend some time? Do you want us to spend some time on it? Or do you think it's a bit too much right now? Yeah, we can. Uh, let's keep it in the next one. Uh, Hervé, a word on the page pages to remove on Jenkins IO. Uh, no progress since last week. I wanted to be sure to off the backup and backup uh, recovery uh, before doing the, the switch. Uh, since there is a release, uh, and I don't remember if we had something planned, but Made, uh, uh, I'm sorry. For Can I let plastic? you continue on someone take note? I just, yeah. I just have a word uh, noise on my house, so I need to check. C continue, uh, Hervé, and uh, yeah. someone else is writing notes, please. So we can plan it for Thursday. Um, nothing good. more about this one. Okay, we can I'm planning for supported UK version. I'm back. This Thursday. Okay, cool. Give you back the pen. Tomorrow is security advisory. Okay. Do you need help on this one? Review? Is there something we can do to help uh, Hervé? Uh, should be good. I'll probably ask you for a quick uh, check before doing the switch. But yeah, I will check my backup uh, process and uh, then uh, put a message in uh, the Jenkins CI safe list and the documentation uh, channel in ERC. I see. Okay. So I let you announcing it as soon as you can. Yeah. And then uh, we can check tomorrow uh, all the all the elements you mentioned. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Cool. Finally, planning for supported GDK version um, to do Removing all GDK 19 remainings. No one on team was able to continue this work. I believe I will be able to do some work since I have to work on the GDK 21. Unless someone want to help, don't hesitate to send tool request. Um, Jep, still under review, but I don't think Mark needs any more element back from us. So that should be okay for us to continue uh, without writing anything because the JEP will will write on what we want it to do. Any question? So do we have new issues? Nope. Do you have something else to add, folks? No, you're good. Um, Retiring the Chinese Jenkins.io website. Um, I will add the link later. Uh, we have to sync. So, uh, in Andamian, need to sync to get started for last miles. Okay, I think that's all. So, folks. I need to switch meetings. So see you next week for people watching this. And for everyone, I'll see you later or tomorrow. See you. Bye. Thanks.
bye